Chytrid fungus is a microscopic amphibian pathogen. It's one of the first wildlife diseases that has truly gone global by the time we knew it existed. One of the greatest issues with chytrid that makes it so severe as far as conservation is that it can affect nearly any amphibian species. So of the 7,000 known species of amphibians, any one of those could potentially go extinct from this single pathogen. And it's, it's alarming to watch these frogs disappear. We have established the Honduras Amphibian Rescue and Conservation Center, a Head Start and Cat Breeding Program. What that means is that there are certain life stages of the frogs that seem to be more susceptible to dying from chytrid, and that's the tadpoles and the metamorphs. From the long-term work that we've done in Casico, we've noticed that once they become adults, um, the few that do survive are then resistant. So the activities that we're doing here at Hark is basically removing the weakest animals from the park, which are the young animals. Bring them here to our facility at Lancetia, cure them of chytrid, which, which can be done in captivity, and then raise them until they're adults. Uh, and then reintroduce those animals back into Casico so they can become part of their ecosystem once again. In my opinion right now, the best long-term solution is to find a way to have these frogs continue to exist in their natural habitats and to continue breeding on their own and, and creating offspring which potentially may become subject to natural selection and hopefully evolve their own resistance. Although the young ones will still be susceptible, um, there will be many more of them around. So a minimally invasive method of assisting evolution and, and letting it take its course but by providing it animals to work with. Doing something about chytrid means applying the science that we know um, and taking some, some risks. We don't have a template to work from. You know, this has never been done before. And that's part of the reason why we have to take risks and why it's, it's more difficult and complex and challenging is that we can't prove to people that what we're doing is gonna work or it's gonna, it's gonna fix things because this is a new territory and all we know are the consequences of inaction. And that if we don't do something, we're gonna have a lot of problems.